Hey, uh, a couple months ago, I interviewed this Trump endorsed Republican uh, House candidate, J.R. Majewski. We spoke about a lot of things with J.R. Majewski. In some areas, he was quite radical. In others, he was not quite so radical. But we have now learned that J.R. Majewski has completely fabricated his supposed record as a military veteran who served in Afghanistan multiple times. This is stolen valor, folks. Multiple times, J.R. Majewski has said, I did serve in Afghanistan. It turns out that he didn't. This was, if I understand correctly, broken by the Associated Press, uh, in which Brian Sladisco and James Laporta wrote, J.R. Majewski presents himself as an Air Force, Air Force combat veteran deployed to Afghanistan after 9-11, once describing, quote, tough conditions, including a lack of running water, forcing him to go more than 40 days without a shower. Military documents obtained by the AP tell a different story. Majewski never deployed to Afghanistan. He did six months loading planes at an air base in Qatar. That's an ally. It was very safe from any fighting. Majewski's account of his time in the military is only one aspect of his bio that's suspect. His post military career has been defined by exaggerations, conspiracy theories, talk of violent action against the U.S. government and occasional financial duress. Thanks to an unflinching allegiance to Trump, he also stands a chance of defeating the longtime Democratic Congresswoman Marcy Kaptur. Now, listen, this guy is out of his mind, and we knew that from the interview I did with him. He has no business being a member of the House. I hope that these lies, yes, this is stolen valor. I hope that these lies about his military service end up torpedoing his campaign. He should he should just drop out. He probably won't. Let's take a look at some clips. Here is J.R. Majewski claiming that he did a tour of duty in Afghanistan, but he doesn't really like to talk about it. What a humble guy, huh? Did you serve in Afghanistan? Yes, I did. Did you serve in Afghanistan? Yes, I did. That is a lie. That is a lie. OK, I'm just going to play it once more so that there's no ambiguity here about whether he lied. Did you serve in Afghanistan? Yes, I did. How many tours? One. What what year were you there? What years? Uh, 2000, 2002, 2003. Wow. So you served right at, right at the beginning. Yeah. What was that experience like? Um, tough, tough. I don't like talking about my military. It was really tough when he was in Afghanistan. Never happened. Just a lie. Sorry. Experience. Not 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 that um, not that we've said too much. I just don't I don't really like to I really don't like to divulge a lot of things about the military because, you know, they're to me, you know, it was a it was a tough time in life. Um, you know, the military wasn't easy, but in retrospect, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. It, it's a lie, folks. He loaded planes in Qatar for six months. That's what he did. There was no tough experience in Afghanistan. Now, as far as his claim that he didn't shower for 40 days, maybe that's true, but it certainly wasn't because there was no running water. Here's another example of this, wherein he says that he uh, he he it's something it's some, it's a really detailed story about playing video games in Afghanistan. He was never in Afghanistan. It's just a lie. Xbox and I'd be on that thing to like midnight just talking shit and shooting people, man. It was fun. But I also remember now that I'm thinking about that. Um, but yeah, we played the division man for forever. And then the division two game came out and we just kind of got, we just, you know, we played it for like a month or two and it wasn't the same. So we, we quit. But, um, I remember being in the desert, man, right being in Afghanistan. And, uh, that is a lie. He was not in Afghanistan. Um, somebody's mom sent, um, a PlayStation two or something like that over with grand theft auto. And anyway, you get the point. So the point is he was playing video games when he was in Afghanistan. And then there's a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of these examples of him, uh, just lying. Here's another one. Did she serve in the military? No, she, uh, and, and you did, you, you were yeah. air force. Okay. Yep. You served in operation enduring freedom, correct? Absolutely. Afghanistan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Afghanistan. It's just another lie. And I could even find uh, find find more of these. Um, and they are quite despicable. In fact, just to be thorough, 
there was one more here. Uh, yeah, here he actually he says he lost his grandmother when he was in Afghanistan. I have no regrets with my life, one or two. And um, those those regrets are, you know, if I could do them over, um, it would be things that I didn't know I could have controlled, you know? Yeah. But, you know, you, you know the most important thing that's ever happened probably is I lost my grandmother when I was in Afghanistan mm. and I didn't I didn't get to see her. That that he wasn't in Afghanistan. Now, did he lose his grandmother while he was in Qatar? Maybe. But that's a totally different story. That's not combat. So by the standards of Republicans, this guy should be forced to drop out. Not a single Republican should be voting for this guy. Republicans claim that we should revere our veterans. Now, of course, they don't do it. We don't even provide good medical care in many cases to our veterans, although the VA does the best it can. We really leave behind veterans in many ways when it comes to jobs as well. But forget about the fact that they don't really mean it. Stolen valor should be the end of the road for these Republicans. And yet J.R. Majewski might still win his race. Horrible stuff and really good reporting by the AP and others figuring out that this guy apparently made up the entire thing. Let me know what you think. Find me on Twitter at Pacman. Who doesn't love a good cereal? The crunchiness, the sweetness, it satisfies in a serious manner. But then you grow up and now all the healthy cereals are boring and bland and they get soggy. And this is where Magic Spoon comes in. It is that sweet, crunchy texture you loved from childhood with zero grams of sugar, only four to five net carbs. Perfect if you're doing keto, only 140 calories per serving and packed with 14 to 15 grams of protein. Magic Spoon spent years developing the recipes. It's really the only cereal on the market to get the texture and the flavor right without the sugar and without a ton of carbs. They have flavors like cocoa, honey nut, fruity, peanut butter. Maybe you want to go adventurous. They've got blueberry muffin, maple waffle, cookies and cream or cinnamon roll. That brings back memories. I love Magic Spoon. The whole team does. But if you don't, you'll get a full refund. But I know it's about to become your new favorite cereal. You'll get five dollars off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.